Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again today. My name is Jeremy, I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, let's get into it this week. Uh, like last week, we're diving into a little bit more X Particles work. Uh, with this project, I was looking at some reference from uh, Joey Camacho again at Raw and Rendered, and wanted to build these cable, this cable system. Um, so what I was doing first here is using a, a blast from a, an X Particle system to send out tracers that I can then sweep some uh, geometry over. So here in this, in these first couple of uh, shots here, what I'm just doing is testing to make sure this theory works. Um, I've I've seen I've seen it done in a few other spots, but this this was a really fun project because I was just kind of going through and just experimenting with some theories that I thought would work, and then and really uh, building it out from there. So here, uh, after that test was run, I did understand like, okay, this is how it's going to work and this is how I'll be able to animate it. So what I'm actually doing here is sending um, particles, I think it was a blast of maybe 20 or 30 particles. Um, I brought the emitter off of center and was just blasting them toward the center. What I then did was apply some XP turbulence and an XP attractor just to give a little bit more of a, a swervy kind of natural feel to the cables. Once I got it to where I liked, that's when I started sweeping uh, uh, cylinders over that. So I used the spline wrap to do this. I um, believe that was the ultimate, ultimately what I went with um, because that will allow you to offset um, the start and end point of the spline and allow me to animate uh, in a way to make the look like those cables are moving closer to an object. Uh, then I just simply uh, I, I did a simple um, sculpt of the tips of these. It's just a, a little cylinder and with a bulb on the end and ultimately I went with a um, emitter texture for those bulbs at the end so it was just a glowing light and I just wanted to make them uh, go towards something. So at first I have a sphere in here. I think ultimately what I did not like was that with the wide angle of the camera I was using it was distorting the sphere too much so what I'll go with uh, end up going with is a uh, cube um, but I was just playing around with some um, uh, the the French monkeys uh, retina pack right here and uh, just building out some kind of interesting texture uh, like I said ultimately I went for a cube that wide shot there I, I think I'll end up rendering out because I like how that looks but for now it's just using a, a greeble effect um, displacement map from uh, one of Beeple's projects and um, just plugging in the different materials and just testing out these different materials to see if I could get something a little more complex with you know just a little bit of displacement that I had so right here I'm just uh, doing a little bit of rotation to the cube and uh, just tweaking my curves on on my particle uh, uh, spline animations and I was actually having a lot of crash issue. I actually wasn't crashing, but my, my cinema kept freezing up, so I kept closing it. I, I think it might have been because in my I have a null in there, if you could see, with a reference. And in that reference is the entire X-Particle system, in case I had to tweak anything. So I'm wondering if that is was kind of choking up the system. But ultimately, I got my render to where I wanted it. Brought everything into After Effects and got into the compositing. I rendered out different light passes on this. I rendered out a light pass just for the emitter, uh, the bulbs, um, and that emission material, and as well as the the gold kind of glow from inside the cube. Um, here I'm just throwing on a lens flare just by doing a freeze frame of a, a light leak pack that I bought a while ago, and it's just a cool little trick to add a lot more complexity to the shot for, you know, with just a frame. Now uh, I also rendered out a Z, Z depth pass so I can um, apply some depth to the smoke and uh, just kind of fill out some cheap um, some cheap fog volume. And there's the final render. It's just this, so you see the cable swarms coming in here, going toward this cube, just with a, a camera 
uh, you know, tracking right to the side to just kind of reveal the cube as we go. This is a really fun project and uh, I'm really excited to continue to try these out and, and see what X particles can build as far as splines and then what those splines can actually create as far as geo. So uh, that's it for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, and subscribe and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy Walker. That's Jeremy, J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching this week, and I can't wait to see you next week on The Drill.